The nation has been waiting to know which companies will be given the nod to harvest fish. The nation must just hold on. We are trying to finalize some statistical information for the benefit of our nation. After that, I will be able to make a full public statement. Last year, Dr. Kawana awarded reserved quotas to some companies whose rights had expired between 2017 and 2020. The move earned him some backlash, as some believed it was corruption. In his defense, the minister says it was the right thing to do. First, those quotas must be put in reserve. Process the application. Those who now passed the test. Those quotas were granted to them by June last year. We started granting. And you see what happened in some of the print media. Kawana is even the most corrupt, more than fish rot. He has granted all fishing rights to the old companies which clogged already 20 years. Nothing for new applicants. But I said, my nation, I'm not here contesting Mr. Universe. I am here to comply with the laws of the Republic of Namibia as a person who is a member of parliament. Casting doubt on the time the ministry had spent on processing the fishing rights applications are critics who believe it took two years because corruption is involved. Kawana says the COVID-19 pandemic delayed the process. Due to the sensitivity and nature of these applications, they could not be taken home so that the people could work at home. That information was restricted only to the ministry, only to UNA. The original applications were kept by UNA up to now. Hard copies were kept by UNA. And only few people who have access to the strong room in UNA to make sure that there's no temporary. So these were some of the limitations I faced. Why they were so delayed? It's not because we were corrupt, we were doing things under the table. The ministry received about 5,000 applications in 2018. Renata Rengura, NBC News. Swakopmund.